Hi, my name is Riz Malik, Director of R3 Mortgages, and today I want to talk about the potential problems that unresolved parking tickets can have, especially with mortgage applications. Look, we've all been in that situation for whatever reason you give, you receive a parking ticket. You may think, yep, yeah, fair cop, don't contest it, it was my fault get it paid, done and dusted, forget about it. There could be situations where you think, no, I'm in the right here, they're in the wrong, I'm gonna contest it, uh, or I'm just not going to pay it out of protest. What can they do? They can't do anything to me. And then they may send you some letters and some reminders in the post, and then you see the letters coming through from the parking company or whoever it may be, and just ignore them, thinking, no, I'm not going to pay it, I refuse to pay it, without actually contest contesting it and going down the proper channels. Now, if you find yourself in that situation, those unresolved parking tickets could result in the agency or the parking company registering a county court judgment against you for those outstanding fines. Now in that particular situation if you may have moved house within that period of time or your contact details uh, were incorrect and you weren't notified of that in some cases the first time you would even know that happened was when you applied for credit or a mortgage for example. In the recent months I've had a situation where a couple of unpaid parking tickets have caused us issues on a mortgage application. Luckily we were able to overcome those. But in the context of what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve, those 40, 50 pound parking tickets could result you in having difficulty in securing hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of mortgages. Alternatively, if they are registered on your credit file, it could mean that rather than going to lender A, who may have more uh, attractive rates, features and terms for yourself, because of that uh, parking ticket that has resulted in a county court judgment being registered against you, it could mean that your application ends up with a lender that charges you uh, a higher rate of interest to accommodate for the difference in the credit. So a top tip for you is that if you do have any parking fines, pay them. If you are in the right and they are in the wrong, contest them but make sure you have an audit trail to ensure that the matter is resolved. We all lead busy lives, it's easy to forget about them and things that happened a number of weeks ago, but make sure that if you are contesting them, you contest them properly and don't just ignore it. Otherwise it could affect your ability to make mortgage applications. And once those are set on your credit file, it may have applications for a number of years. My name's Riz Malik, Director of R3 Mortgages, bringing you more top tips to make your life easier. See you soon.